Please state your name for the record. Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon, then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. <laughs> this man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about Richie Doucet. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No, yes, I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucet? He's... He's out of the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mom, I'm a pop up shit. Go on, get. He could warn Doucet. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. How you think? Vito's taking his beating. Huh? Anybody see where it went? Kill one of our boys. I said we try that area. Got a body here. Let's go, 
Set him down. Get that stupid son of a bitch. Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fellas in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asked for my cut right then and there. I figured if you fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't go for it. <sighs> Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. He didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop, make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. Like I'd leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh. Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh. What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. I'm gonna need your help. Look, you pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. Once I take back River Row from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. What's your partners now? As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You 
take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. A lot of whoas in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front. You take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. Cut, suck. Come on, back to the car. You drive. I'll cover us. Fuck if that little prick gets away. Ha! Ha! Is, is that. How the fuck did Greco end up with my car? He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it. Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill a little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Boy, take it. Get your teeth, piece of fuck. Sales guys don't let up, do they? The way you fucks, Greco's mine! Shit, get away. Cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Available unit. Suspicious individual in vehicle. You're gonna have to shake these corn potent redneck motherfuckers. What? What happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker, that's what happened. Now shut the fuck up! You know you'd be involved in this video, you cocksucker! Let me go! Settle down back there, kiddo. Ride will be over soon. Cops are still on us. Lose them, Lincoln. Thank <sighs> you. 
Yeah. Pull around that chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Rest. Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Whew, shit. <laughs> for a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Ronnie, I kind of figured you from all the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. This kid know how to drive? Do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Ah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't. I don't. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet bagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more! Fuck! Listen, Jesus! He was worried you knew about the casino! And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission! What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there! He wants to go legit! Turn this city into Las Vegas! Gambling's illegal! Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal! <laughs> Which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed! Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I, I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. You should talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe tree time. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You pay me what's fucking old! You think this is a game, son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. 
I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shh. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. But mainly, I'm worried I'm gonna get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks, as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. Now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, nicks, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck me.
Luigi. Give a shit, I got a pregnant wife at home. Nice to be back on the job, that's all I'm saying. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. You're him, aren't you? Lincoln Clay. Vito asked me to come see you. He wants our guys to do double the runs. Double the runs means double the chances of running into the Coast Guard. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be too much help dealing with them. So I will deal with those hijos de la gran puta. I need someone to keep the warehouses full, keep the money coming in. How much we talking? Enough to make it worth your troubles. You're gonna be hitting trucks for the contraband. Seems simple enough. I'll let you know when I get the first truck. You didn't just save his life, you know. You brought him back. The real Vito. What I mean is I haven't seen this Vito in a really long time. And I don't want him to go back to the way he was. You got something to say, Alma, just say it. What's gonna happen next? You need him, and you need us now. So you give Marcano the fucking he deserves. Is it back in the freezer again? Would you believe me if I say no? No, I don't think so. But I believe very few people these days. And if Vito say this is the way things are, that's how they are. If you see any of Greco's men out there, you should deal with them. It will make it easier for us to conduct business. <laughs> <laughs>